So here in my front closet, um, here I have umbrellas and so I am going to go through um, all of our umbrellas because the kids do use the big ones as well. So um, there's their umbrellas and there's one up here. Okay, and then in terms of bags, I think there's only one here, which is my daughter's ballet bag. Okay, and then there are no bags down there. Okay, and then we have my kids' two swimming bags and then my son's taekwondo bag so I'm going to just move them all to the middle here okay, okay here's another bag okay another bag here another bag here okay so here are all the kids accessories their backpacks, so these are just their extra backpacks, the ones that are for school they are using because they're in school right now. Um, so those ones I know we're keeping because we are using them and they do love them, but more that they're using them. So um, these are extra, so I'm just going to go through them and see what's in good condition. If it's not in good condition, I'm going to get rid of it. If it is um, in good condition, I'll keep it because these are just their backups in case that halfway through the year their other backpack gives up on them. Um, so that's my daughter's ballet bag back there. So we are going to keep that for now, but I will be looking into getting an actual dance bag for her. Uh, like a bigger bag because um, as you can see it's kind of um, getting full so it fits for now so I might keep it that way but anyway I'll be keeping that bag um, okay then umbrellas um, some more bags so this is just an extra gym bag here um, which we keep on hand, um, you know, in case we're going to the park or uh, swimming, actually not really swimming, but going to the park or um, just somewhere where we're going to play sports or we need to um, pack clothes or anything like that, we keep this so on hand in case we're going out. And then the kids swimming bags here that's the girls and that's my son's my son's martial arts bag then these those are my son's so his tie and then two belts you can see i have not that many of our things here i usually just tend to keep one of these things each so that helps um so these let me just see here. This we're keeping because it's in good condition. My daughter just keeps her doll clothes in here. So um, we're going to keep that one. Okay, so I'll put this here for keeping. And this one, I can see that it has holes here. And then, yeah, it's got a hole here. So I think she does love this Sophia bag, but it's also missing the um, hook up here to hook it onto the to, to to hang it on the hooks. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. So I'm gonna put this one here. It's got stuff in it, so I'm gonna take it out. Just like books, she was playing and she used that. Um, Okay, this one is my older daughter's. It's not too bad. It does have a few, like, you know, small little tear, but, um, and a little bit of fraying here. But I think as a backup bag, I think that this can work. I'll be keeping it. Um, I'll just test out the zipper, and if it does work, I'm going to be keeping that. 
so put that in the keep pile. Okay, umbrellas. So my son's umbrella. My middle daughter. My youngest. Okay, and then just a big umbrella that we have. So we're keeping that. And then the ballet bag. And my son only has one tie at the moment. Um, because mainly we just, he doesn't really wear ties unless, you know, we're going out, um, for Christmas or New Year's and basically you can wear red. Um, I think he has worn it to another occasion before, but it worked with what, you know, for the occasion and what he was wearing. Um, and then the two belts. So that belt fits him, so we're keeping that. That belt, I don't believe that fits him, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, then in terms of the bags, I will be keeping the swimming bag, number one. Number two, these are just backpacks. And then, um, the of course, the martial arts bag, because that's important. And then, um, the extra bag because it's in really good condition and that's it so that's it guys so I'll just show you what I'm keeping so all of this is what I'm keeping okay and then I'm getting rid of that bag and that belt okay so just two items so I didn't have a lot to begin with so of course, it's not going to be a lot that I'm getting rid of. Like I said, with the kids' stuff, I do go through it quite often. So this part is not my problem, I guess. And what's so great about this method, um, the KonMari method, is that I'm going through it and I'm seeing how much stuff we had. And I thought that I had way more and, you know, it... It was just kind of confusing to keep track of, but in reality, I did not have that many extra bags or, you know, umbrellas or accessories or even clothing. I, I'm finding um, it's just that they are scattered throughout the house. So what I'm going to do now is all the extra bags, so that backpack there, that one, those are extra. I am going to put them in a clear um, bag, so clear garbage bag for now, but it's like a recycling bag, um, but I'm going to put them, beca just because I don't have a big, big enough box, but I'm going to put them in my room downstairs, in a room downstairs, and just store them there, so, and I'm going to label them, that way I know that I've been through them already, because um, it can get get kind of confusing when you know you still have so many things to go through okay guys so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys are following along and let me know what you think of the method in the comment box below I know a lot of people are familiar with the method but I know some people aren't and you know if you're new to my channel I have a whole series so I'll link the video, the playlist, down below as well as in the cards. So look for that if you want to see my previous videos and what, how I've progressed up until this point. The next video is going to be the kids' shoes. So I'm going to be going through all of their so footwear. That will lead me then into the accessories of hair accessories and jewelry and I can't wait to get to those okay guys so I hope you guys are doing well and take care and don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my videos and hit that bell button uh, that you see beside the subscribe button because then you'll be notified when I put out a new video I put out new ones every Tuesday and Friday but I might have some in between there as bonus videos so hit the bell hit the subscribe button and the bell and then you'll never miss any of my videos okay take care guys mm -hmm.